tell you today uh, we have an iPhone 8 Plus and you can see that uh, you can see this the home buttons cracked you can see that and nothing it's not responsive at all so press this nothing happens okay so it's kind of annoying uh, this repair is going to be for a uh, uh, could work for a 7 all the way to a uh, 8 plus. Okay, so 7, 8, 8, uh, 7, 7 plus, 8, 8 plus. Okay, and we're going to use this uh, home button. It's like, a, it's like a special home button designed to make the home button feature bump and not, uh, but the fingerprint still won't work, but it's better than nothing because right now it's not, it's broken anyways. Either way, you'd have to take this to Apple. They want to charge you like, a phone screen repair to fix that they won't even fix that for you even though this screen is perfectly fine as you can see everything works uh, well see I can't get back but everything works on this phone they just uh, wanna wanted to get this fixed okay so here we go let's get our pentalobe screwdriver which is somewhere to be found okay let's use this one and we're gonna very easy we're gonna pop this off the pentalobe screwdriver okay and we're gonna take our this I kind of preheated this up right but you can just kind of heat it up as well especially if it's a, never been open before it's gonna be a little more difficult to open so go ahead and just get your says mom Start to pry open the screen. Let's see this. I usually like to leave the phone on here just to make sure I don't break it. Okay. This is a pretty easy repair. We're going to shut it off. Shut this one off. And then uh, normally, you know, you want to be careful with this, but since I kind of did this a million times and I never made a video on it, I just forgot about it. I'm just going to easily pop this off but if you've never done this before it's best to take everything off because if you slip and this drops you can break the, the flex cables on the LCD so I would really recommend that you take the whole screen off but if you feel like you've got enough uh, expertise go ahead and do it the way I'm doing it so I'm just gonna pop this off and you want to be careful there's a flex cable connected to the to the LCD that connects the home button. If you tear that, you gotta change the screen. There is a way where you can just change the backlight, but it's not gonna be really easy. Okay, so here we go. So you wanna be very careful with this cable, so don't try not to damage that. And this home button's already broken, so I'm just gonna pop it up real fast. Okay, it's no big deal. Okay, so take the home button out. It's a broken one, and we're gonna put the new one in. Again, this is a special home button. This is not the ones that you know are two bucks and whatever. It will not work. So even if you took an original home button from another iPhone and put it in this phone because it's paired, it won't work. So this is a special technology um, home button that restores the uh, the touch function, uh, like the bump, you know, the home button feature function, not the fingerprint ID. That'd be cool if they did, but I guess that's Apple proprietary technology, so. But the Chinese came up with this, so that's good enough. Okay. It's a pretty easy fix. Again, you just have to be a little careful with this. I mean, it's like a cut out, taking the whole screen apart. Oh, I probably want to put this on the metal. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, let's just test it real quick, as you can see. I'll turn it back on. Oh, of course it's dead. Give it one second. Okay, it's coming back on. Okay, you will get this message right here, Touch ID unable to activate, because it's not the original home button, as you can see. Watch now, before this was unresponsive, watch. And I'm not touching the side buttons, watch. See? So now it works. Again, your home button feature is not going to work. I'm sorry, the uh, fingerprint is not going to work, but the home feature will. And it bumps just like the original. There's some other ones that 
they're kind of cheaper ones and they click and some you have to pair Bluetooth. This one is plug and play, literally just, and you'll feel that bumping sensation. Uh, again, it's not clicking because it's screwed down. It, it's actually using the same technology to make the haptic feedback give you that bump sensation, but it really works. All right, guys, if you like this video, like and share. I will put in the description where to get this home button from, okay? And they sell them in different colors, black. I know black and white. I don't know about the trims. You gotta see, I'll see if there's the trim colors. This one was a rose gold, but they just had silver. So, but I'll put it in the description. If there's. All right, guys, thanks again. Give us a like. Have a great day.